One of the chapters in your book talks about the mind-body connection, yeah. affirmations, mm -hmm. mantras, and attaining a powerful level called intentional exercise. Yeah. Describe what that is yeah. and how we can achieve it. So intentional exercise is simply the idea that in addition to whatever your favorite aerobic activity is, it could be you know speed walking, it could be jogging, it could be kickboxing, what I suggest that you do is add a positive affirmation or a mantra to that exercise. And why do I suggest that? Well, I have experience with that. So the class that kind of really got me over the top in terms of my desire to come to the gym and my enthusiasm for coming to the gym is a, a workout that I, I learned and I now teach uh, called Intensati. And it was developed by a wonderful fitness instructor in New York City named Patricia Moreno. And um, this exercise pairs physical movements from kickboxing and dance and yoga and martial arts with positive spoken affirmations. So in kickboxing, you just punch back and forth. But in intensati, we say, I am strong now. And each movement is associated with a different positive affirmation. And the idea is that you're replacing negative thoughts that we all have every once in a while with these positive thoughts. And you're saying them out loud, which I think is a very important part of it as well. Uh, you're saying it out loud with a whole bunch of other sweaty people that are saying it out loud as well. So what is that doing? So I gave you a little flavor of some of the things that exercise is doing to your brain. So that's kind of going from your physical body and it's affecting your brain. Why? Because it's changing neurotransmitter levels. It's increasing those neurotransmitters that are involved in mood elevation. Um, it is changing um, um, growth factors. Those are some of the growth factors that are helping those hippocampal cells be born and also helping the enhancement of your prefrontal cortex that, that's important for attention. So that's kind of the body back to the mind. So what are the intentions doing, the positive affirmations? That, I've explored this and I currently have a hypothesis and that hypothesis is that I think what the intentions are doing is going the other direction. It is affecting what psychologists call your mindset. So mindsets are your beliefs that ha can have real physical um, uh, effects on your body. And one of my favorite examples of the power of mindset was a study done by a psychologist at Stanford named Aliyah Crum. And she went to a hotel and got, gathered all the hotel workers. First, she asked them all, do you exercise regularly? They all said no. To half of them, she said, we've analyzed your activity, all the sheets that you changed, all the crook floors that you scrub, and actually, your level of activity is above the Surgeon General recommendation, because they actually have a pretty good level of activity. To the other half, she said nothing. She brought them all back three months later, and what happened? The ones that were told that they had a higher level of activity, they lost significantly more weight than the other group, and they had significantly lower blood pressure and higher quality of, you know, likability of the job. And so something changed in their brain. That, that idea that actually, it's not that I don't exercise at all, I'm getting good exercise every single day. And what did that translate into? Actually, my body feels much better. I feel stronger. Those women actually lost weight. And so what are we doing with the affirmations? We are telling ourselves these positive things that are having physical effects on the body. And what are we saying to ourselves? I am strong. I believe I will succeed. I am powerful. And um, for me, I can say it affects my stress levels. You know, I'm not going around saying, oh God, I'm so worried this is gonna happen. I'm going around saying, I'm powerful. I can handle this. I am strong. And it does have a physical effect on the body. So I'm so excited about this concept of intentional exercise because it's taking full advantage of the mind-body connection. The exercise part is going from your physical body up to your brain and doing all those brain changes that I talk about in the book. But the affirmations are going from your mind and having positive physiological effects back on your body. And that's why it's so powerful. Yeah.